Ah, uh, it's time to bridge between the chapters with a little bit of, well, badge kit. At least here, where we are going to, what is it, Merlo? Yes, Merlo. Merlo's house. And Merlo Lee's. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, spy badge doing its work. I mean, it down there. Obviously not the place. Oh, I think it's down here. Let's see. Yep. Go figure. A, sh a star piece buried near Shilling Star Summit. Who the thunk it? I'm actually going to get... I'm going to search around here, too, because you can only imagine. There's definitely going to be some... I mean, heck, there are stars sticking out of the ground. Obviously, there are pieces. We're going to do a little bit of this. This will be... We're going to get some badges. We're going to... I think we go down to the pipes. And we also do some other interesting things we haven't seen before, so... I'm not even sure if Chapter 5 starts in this video. We'll see. I'm going in and checking to make sure there's not another one. Nope, there's not. I feel like one day I'm going to find there's two in one area. And then you have to go back in for the for the badge to warn you. Actually, I don't think that ever happens. I'm just paranoid. We're outside Merlo's house. Wow, some mage he is. You can't even find that. Not the brightest tool in the shed, eh? I'm just kidding. I'm sure he's a wonderfully intelligent mage. He knows all the good spells. Straight A student, right along with Hermione Granger. Oh look, Peach left some stuff for me. I feel like that last stand badge has been in there for a while, I just never got it. <laughs> the funny things that happen when I record LPs. Come up here, what? Let's meet the old wizard. Let's meet the ha the man behind the curtain, shall we? The famous Merlo. Are you really famous, though? I might have heard like one or two NPCs talk about you, but you hardly seem to be as famous as you're putting yourself out there to be. I'm going to go for the Power Plus badge, I think. Might as well get the most expensive one. Then you don't have to work up to it anymore. Also, I love increasing my power. It just, oh, it makes me feel so adequate. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on from that joke, it's uh, obviously the BP you need is six. We I think we already have one of these. There's two in the game. And then there's also the all or nothing badge and the P up D down badge. If, you, if uh, we, I know we came across all or nothing. It's where your power increases by one as long as you do the action command correctly. Shrink stomp, I might try it again just to have it work once and show it off should get i have a i have a lot of junk on here i should take some of this stuff off let's see yep down with quick hammer down with d down pound d down pound was just for the fight the boss fight let's let's just move that one bp over the last stand there we have i spy really i took off i spy that's not like me at all interesting yeah let, i just want to stick all or nothing on at least Gotta increase that power. Although, really, I don't need it for Toad Town. Because I've already searched all the spaces in Toad Town for the most part. So, not going to be that much of a problem to take I Spy off for the moment. I'll put it back on as soon as I, you know, find the time to. But I really think some of those other badges could have come off. I had a lot of special attack badges on that I, frankly, do not need. But what do I know? I'm just a post-commentary guy. I'm post-commentary, even. I think I know better. So, off to Ralph's for some more badge collection, except he has none. I already bought him through this chapter, so when the next chapter starts, maybe he'll have some more for me. We'll have to see. He'll let you know when he actually runs out. He'll say it when you talk to him. It'll be a very special moment. Now, off to, oh yes, the anti-guy. I almost forgot to mention this. I should have mentioned this right off the bat. You guys, I probably undersold undersold this video. You guys probably thought it was going to be boring. Nope. We're going to show off the anti guy. I should put that in the beginning so it doesn't seem like people... So people don't go, Oh, it's just him getting badges and star pieces. So I'm going to skip to the next fun part. No. Fun is now. The fun is here. Oh, by the way, I went around to the blue station again. Just to fix this fourth piece of rail. To pull or not to pull, that is the question. 
So basically, all you have to do is go to red station, and then select blue station from the right, I mean, going right, so that you go around from this side. Then you'll be able to, well, turn, get to that switch and turn that around. You don't actually have to, because all the stations are already open. All the, you just have to go around a long way if you're going from the beginning to the end or the end to the beginning, if you catch my drift. But we just connected the two. Yes. I'm wetting my throat with some luscious off-brand root beer. So that I don't get that dry tickle I had this morning again. That'll put me out of commentary for a week or two. Here we are. Look at him. He thinks he's so badass. And he is. No, he, he seriously is. Did I not cut? Oh. So I didn't cut this part out. I think I showed something off that I thought was- Oh, right! The invisible blocks. Yeah, that I showed off, and then I cut it out. I was like, do I really have to go back and edit again? Oh, such a pain. No, it was just this. That was meant to be in there. He's all by himself. He's totally weak. What a chump. Hey, I'm, t I'm all by myself, and by this guy's standards, I'm the weak one. So, before I actually fight him- I actually wanted to show what you can do to avoid him and still get what's in the treasure chest. What you do is you go to Taste Tea with a lemon and a cake mix after, of course, you give her the cookbook where she can combine items. You get a lemon candy. And then when you talk to the anti-guy, he'll be like, Oh shit, you spuck, you got treats. Give me some. And he only, he, he only likes lemon candy. It's his favorite thing in the world. It's like uh, Mousetafo with his limes or lemons, whichever. Take the treasure, just give me the candy, man. <laughs> hey, man, you got any more of those lemon candies? Oh, that's that's what he he, he... he yells at you if you don't give it to him right away. <laughs> Good, you're a smart boy. But now I'm going to talk to him and trigger it again, and then I'm going to actually give it to him. Yep, here you are. Take it and eat it. Let's play more where that came from. Aw, he's just a kid at heart. And I love what he does... So I didn't, sh I didn't show what was in the chest, but <laughs> I wanted to show off <laughs> his little dialogue. Funny guy. And if you leave the area and come back, he disappears forever and you can't even fight him. You're not allowed to fight him after you give him the lemon candy. So if you want to fight him, don't do that. Don't avoid the fight. Just go up to him like this and challenge him to a battle for the centuries. Oops, I accidentally hit don't fight again. Right there. You want to fight? Are you nuts? You don't want to mess with me. He even gives you another. He gives you another chance to get out. He's he's hinting that this is actually going to be a big deal. I do love a challenge. Oh, <laughs> trust me. If I tried to fight him before now, it might not have been so much of a challenge for him. Let's do a talent show. Just what this guy's made of. Oh, so now you know Gumbario. You couldn't warn me before. HP 50, attack power 10, defense zero. But he has a 12 power attack. So his attack power is 12, Gumbario. Don't beat around the bush. Yeah, this guy's a wild fight. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna fuck with this guy now by putting on a stone cap. <laughs> and make myself impervious for a little bit while I do some shit like partner changes. <laughs> Sucks to suck, anti-guy. You suck and swallow. Now I'm gonna use either... I think what? No, because I want to increase Mario's attack power. For a very specific reason. He's wasting all his... Tw He's throwing all his 12s at me right now. So I'm not sure... I guess I didn't want to turbocharge Mario while he was in the stone cap. I didn't know if it would actually affect things. Also, wait. That would be a waste because he Mario can't attack. There we go. Okay, now that Mario has a turn, we're going to turbocharge him. Right? Right? Am I going to try the lullaby? or ch No, chill out. I was gonna- I was thinking of chilling out, but then I decided not to. Yes! Gypsy! I love you! Shrink stomp in the- <laughs> Shrink stomp with the increased attack power and- It's okay, so the shrink stomp doesn't work on him. In fact, I don't know why I bothered trying. No, I did that wrong. I want- I did that terribly wrong. What I should have done- holy crap. And I missed the defense. What I should have done was turbocharge with Watt as the first turn, and then with- and then on the same turn, attacked with Mario. 
that would have been the smarter thing to do. Of course, it wasn't what I did. I missed. What a scrub. So, power bounce with an increased attack power. Really useful. Oh, oh, oh boy. It's time to heal already. Wait, am I serious? Oh, wait. He only has 13. I don't need to heal. Screw that. Just kill him. Yeah. That's right. Just enough. What? Finish the job, you good girl, you. Yeah. Yeah. He's dead. Look at all those star points he got us. And imagine if I had fought him before leveling up so much. I'm gonna hold hold what like symbol over here. Oh. The circle of life. It's the, oh, it's the other power plus badge. What do you know? There it was. So that was real fun. Oh, boy. That guy packs a punch, but I packed him harder. That was worded wrong. Anyway, <laughs> that's the word I'm not allowed to use because I use it all the time. <laughs> Going really great in this commentary session. I still have a headache from staring at code until 2 a.m. last night. Anyway, Jesus. <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> I like that. All right, so we're, we're moving stuff around here. I decided screw defense. Let's throw all of, all of it into attack. Let's see what happens. I really don't think I need power smash right now, though. I think th I think you could move that to I spy. That would have been the smarter thing to do. But no. No, Past Haven thinks he knows better. Well, he doesn't. Past Haven is a fool. So where are we going, eh? We're we going over here to sleep that off like a bad nightmare. I fought a guy with 12... Power attacks, man. It was crazy. It was unbelievable. I don't know what that was. Yes, I slept very well. Oh, the sleep of champions who obliterate their enemies with but a single hammer stroke. Like Thor and Odin. Those two are related. Let's see here. Oh, do we think we're ready for another... Dojo fight? I think I'm ready for another dojo fight. This is the second master fight? I'm doing it in chapter 4. That's interesting. I didn't remember doing that. Well, technically chapter 5. Well, let's see what the master has to say for himself. We're gonna take you down! <laughs> yeah, right. I would never do something like that. Oh, God. This wasn't supposed to happen. I don't even remember how this happened. I could look back at the footage, but it's too depressing. I got cocky somewhere. Tried doing some stupid stuff. I think with shrink stomps. It didn't work, obviously. He's the master. So, that happened. But technically, not a game over, I'd like to point out. I don't have my life streams on me because I didn't want to waste them here. Wow. Technically, does not count as a game over, guys. Just saying. Because, you know... It's the master. It's a dojo fight. There we go. Okay, we're coming back. Let's try this again. Oh, sure. Not going easy on me. Yeah, I got that part. Thanks, old man. You are so dead. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, no, that's not happening again. I'm going to... Oh, by the way, I have 75 HP. I already tiled him, but I'm tiling again. Just to show off. Attack power 8. But his HP is 75. He, his attack power is about four less than the anti guys. I could take him down. He has certain special types of attacks. Well, first let's 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 do this right off the bat. Lower your attack right now for a few turns. That would be great. Thank you. Good night. Bam. See that would be seven if I didn't do that before. But now he's weaker. He's been chilled out, dude. Oh, thank you, Gypsy. Why am I using the hammer? Use power bounce, you fool. Using power bounce with an increased power. But, oh, that was a pretty... That was an impressive hammer strike, though. 12? Oh, this is a double. That would normally have been 5 and 6. Am I wrong? Yeah, it's, it's been decreased by 3, so... 5 and 6, so 11 for that double attack. I didn't block any of it. But you know what? I also like that it got showed off. You know what I mean? Alright, we're 
kind of getting dodgy on the dodging, though. Let's try this again. Yeah, take that attack down. Boa's a stronger attack than Wa, although really what I should be doing is turbocharging Mario and power bouncing like I did with Anti-Guy, because that is the most efficient way to deal damage to this fool. I think I wanted to show off and just keep smashing him with my hammer. Not ex entirely sure what that's about. I'm throwing another chill out his way. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that stuff. Not this time. Later, I'll be manly and let him hit me full force, but... For this second fight, I guess I kinda... I kinda let the star spirit take the... Take the... Spike off his attacks. Lose my concentration? I think I'm fine, thank you very much. I'm just pressing buttons, it's not that difficult. Here we are. Lock his bump. Feels like kind of a waste since my FP isn't low, but... Eh. There's more important things to worry about. Am I switching over to the full offensive here? The the power charge, power bounce combo? There we go. With two power, I think that I have two power pluses and an all or nothing badge on. Oh, that's great. Here, I switched the want first, right? And then Mario's turn comes up so I can use it right off the bat. And I chose the hammer, apparently. A nice hefty 10. That was a 10, a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there. Here we go. It, oh, his attack still lowered? Yep, his attack's staying lowered too. I'm sticking to hammers. Oh, I'll be damned. Apparently, I don't want to win fast. Gotta, go, gotta win fast. Sanic speed. Here we go. Yeah, give me another one. He's, he's just doing his normal attacks. Give me your double again. Show off that lovely double so I can block it for once. What's going on here? Okay, so I didn't want to end it on what again. I wanted Mario to get the last blow. But I also kind of hope I heal just to see that attack again. Nope, I didn't. I decided to go for the jump. Six plus six. Didn't even need to use a power jump. And I had 12 attack. Using power splash is worthless at this point. Especially, hold on. When you put on power plus badges or all or nothing badges and you increase your power... Your jump, since it's two separate attacks, becomes more efficient than your hammer, and even more efficient than your power smash hammer. So when you use power smash instead of a regular jump, when you've increased your power, <laughs> I love this guy, he's talking about my degree card, you are literally throwing away FP and doing a weaker attack. How does that sound? Things to keep in mind, things to keep in mind. It's all because the jump is separated into two separate attacks. And if it's power bouts, ho, 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 and you have like five of those things, that's efficiency. What the? What the? What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't remember that happening. Anyway, <laughs> I remember the part where you scare him out of the basement. I don't remember that. What, what just happened there? What were you doing in our room, Luigi? Do I want to know? What's all this? Oh, God, Luigi, what are you... I don't even have laundry detergent in the house right now. <laughs> Nintendo 64, I saw that reference. The whole Goomba family visited you? That must have been awful. I'm just kidding. Where am I? Who knows? Shut up, Goombario. My FP increased by three, among other things. <laughs> You'll think he'll notice... <laughs> I'm not looking there, Luigi. I'm not. I, I, I'm gonna pretend I never read that. Gumbaria sent me a letter. She probably she probably dropped it right in the mailbox as she visited. Gumbaria is not being a hero. He's he's not even goofing off. He's staying in my pants and he's gonna stay there the entire adventure. Well, he is tiling, I guess. Only because only for the sake of completion, not because I do it in general. Usually he stays away forever. Wow. Nice sending me junk mail, you stupid moose. Where are your antlers, you fool? It's a sale right across the postage. Junk! Luigi, don't you know how to sort this stuff out? Junk. J -u -n J-U-N, junk. <laughs> I'll also look at the stats. Wow, I've been, for I've been first struck 22 times. That is embarrassing. 
Next time I play this game, I'm gonna make a promise to myself to not get first struck like a tool. Not that it really matters. It matters. Moving on to lovely and exciting things. We have like a minute 44 left in the video. I'm just gonna read the newspaper, I guess. What Shy Guy problem? <laughs> what are you talking about? The larceny lovers. Hey, that's a good $10 word there. Yes, very nice. Larceny. All the kids back in 2001 were getting very learned from this dialogue. They probably skimmed through. Oh, come back. I'm sure you missed me. Oh, it's that guy. Can see Koopa. He's gonna come after... Is it after you start this chapter or after you end the next chapter that he appears? What am I talking about? Oh, you'll find out later. Hey, look. Let's let's check the post office for some partner mail. And we have some. Cooper's getting some love today from Coover. <laughs> you guys are like brothers. Look at it. Your name's like a two letters apart. Is Coover the guy at the front gate? I don't even remember. Colorado's wife is... No one names her. Her name is... What did I name her? I don't even remember. Jane? Betty? No, wait. That was Coovey. I don't know. <laughs> Frosty is mailing Paracary for some reason. <laughs> Frosty. I get it. Oh, he's the guy in Starborn Valley. What's Starborn Valley? Oh, you'll find out. Oh, yeah. You'll find out. Yeah. My heart leaps to joy every time I hear the flapping of your wings. Oh God, what am I reading? Fair care, you can, you can read this one yourself. Here, I think this is more of a private letter. And with that, we'll see you for part 30 of Paper Mario.